Consumer staples, third best performing sector so far this year, as household and consumer stocks like Coca-Cola, P&G, and Clorox have buoyed this index. Joining us now is Andrea Teixeira. She's a senior equity analyst at J.P. Morgan and Linda Montag, senior vice president at Moody's. Ladies, good evening. Thanks for joining us. So, Linda, what, what is the environment for staples right now? We know that they're loved because they're considered safer, but, but how's their business? Yes, yeah, Sarah, the staples industry is a defensive one, and we're seeing fairly solid results. But, you know, not all staples are created equally either. And certainly our expectation is that companies that are, you know, facing good growth or are benefiting from a recovery out of the pandemic are performing the best. So those include beverage companies, which saw shutdowns during the pandemic and are now, as venues reopen and travel is growing, are seeing good results. The same thing for the cosmetic companies, for example, within the consumer staples area. These are companies that are going to outperform others. Andrea, the question is, are they getting too expensive because they have been somewhat of a safe haven and growth has been a little bit better than expected? Yes, yeah, Sarah, thanks for having me. Um, consumption, indeed, as John has been saying, and, um, and, and in general with Linda, I totally agree that consumption of staples in the U.S. remains quite strong. Companies are starting to see um, retail destocking, though, um, and consumption in Europe has been a little bit more uh, muted uh, as of late, uh, with more price sensitivity. Uh, so, indeed, the stocks have been pricing, especially the large caps have been pricing, uh, that this is going to continue. So, I think investors should focus on the ones that are, like Linda said, focus on um, the reopening, because there's still um, some names that have been suffering from a valuation perspective, including Estee Lauder, like I would say the falling angels within the reopening stories, or even Coca-Cola, if you want to be defensive, or names that are, you know, more exposed to uh, the most uh, stable and, 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 and defensive side of the, of the spectrum staples. So you like, you like Coca-Cola, you like Estee Lauder, you, you're sticking with the beverages and beauty theme, not household products? Andrea? Yes, correct. Household, uh, I would say, is a little bit more tricky because consumers have been shifting away from consumption at home and going uh, to experiences and going to restaurants and going and travel. And therefore, we see the wallet shifting uh, to, those, uh, to those areas. So I would say definitely more into the reopening. And I think it's temporary until we see um, consumers uh, continue to go um, into, into the beauty um, category and therefore uh, numbers could possibly surprise into 2023.